Introducing the Altic Rock Light Pro, available in white and full color Spectrum RGBW kits, which means they're Bluetooth and app control. Now, traditionally rock lights are designed to light up the terrain underneath the vehicle, but we found a gap in the market between the smaller lights and our larger work lights. Now rock lights, of course, they're highly versatile, bulletproof, and they put out a decent amount of output, but generally you want more. So you go to a work light. Now, a work light is really great for lighting up the campsite, behind the vehicle, but sometimes they're too big that you can't fit them in to get the right application out of them. And we wanted to bridge the gap between them. And that's where our Altic Rock Light Pro comes in. It's small enough, yet powerful enough to act as a work light and fit into any single area around the vehicle. Whether you want to run it as a reverse light, a camp line underneath the awning, you want to run it as an engine bay light on the boat deck, it doesn't matter. The applications are endless. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, so sit down. We're going to go through what's included, what's so different about the new Rocklight Pro, and how to install and get the Rocklight Pro Spectrum kits up and running. All right, so let's start with the Altic Rocklight Pro. This thing is an absolute beast, rivaling some of our work lights with 10 watts of output. Now, in the past, our rock lights had a small cluster of three LEDs, which is pretty good for mounting underneath the vehicle and getting that down light onto the ground. But at 120 degrees of spread, not that much distance, we wanted more. That's why we've gone for 15 LEDs in a wide array format. That enables not just more power, more output, but also 180 degrees of light output. And that means that these lights can be mounted anywhere around the vehicle and giving you a widespread pure flight output that covers a large area. But last thing I want to do is stare into light and be blinded by the glare. And so we've integrated diffusion panels into the lens itself. Now, the cool thing about these lenses is they can actually detach from the rock light itself just with these four clips around the outside and they have a rubber gasket enabling that IP69K rating. The reason why we wanted them to be detachable is because we know you guys love color. You love to be able to change the lights and we don't want you to be just stuck with white. So we've got available in blue, red, green, and of course your favorite, amber, which clips straight on, giving you that nice amber output that keeps the bugs away at night. So if four colors aren't enough for you, then the next thing you're looking at is our Spectrum RGBW kits. That's right, W on the end, which means a dedicated white. So you get a full array of RGB enabling for millions of different colors app controlled, but you also get that dedicated white, which isn't a mixture of all the LEDs. It's a crisp white, not a muddy white. So let's talk mounting. Over the years, we've had a lot of feedback and even ourselves with difficulties with the two bolt mounting system. If you pre-drill the holes perfectly with the housing itself and they're lined up, great. But if it was slightly off, that rock light wouldn't sit flush because the bolts wouldn't go in straight. You'd also have them on the angle. It's just a messy job. What we wanted to do was simplify the process, eliminate the two bolts, make sure it's easy to align, easy to sit flush. And so we've moved to a one bolt mounting system that's integrated into the center of the housing. So to access that, you clip off the lens again, and with the included stainless steel hardware, just simply feed your bolt straight through the middle, which means one bolt easily sitting flush. So the housing itself is made so that the wire itself can either run out the bottom and still sit flush with the unit, or if you want and you have the access to the back of the housing or the surface that you're mounting it to, drill a second hole, feed the wire through, and then you've still got a flush mount that is completely seamless with no wires around it. It's a cleaner setup, but of course we wanted to make sure that it was easily viable for both options because we know that you don't always have access to the back of the panel. On top of that, we've got our 30 degree mounting plates, which enable for that downlight installation on top of roof racks. If you want the downlight coming down and you don't have the angle, or if you want to sit them underneath the car and point them out for more light dispersion, there's a rock light. They're easy to install. Again, the bolt just goes straight through and they've got two ways to run the wiring. Same idea, flush running with the panel or straight through. Okay, great. So now let's talk wiring. Now, the white rock light is super simple. We've included a nice long tail, waterproof plug, and your positive and negative at the end. It's an open end. But the best part about the white rock light is that it only draws 0.8 amps. This means that with such low draw, you can wire it into the existing reverse light circuitry or even your reverse camera without even needing a new harness. And that way they come on as reverse lights 
it's pretty simple wiring exercise. However, because it is open-ended, you do have the endless configurations. We leave it up to you to be able to wire it into your car. It's just that simple. Now, if wiring isn't your strong suit, you know Sparky Guru, the Spectrum 8 kits, you've got eight kits, a lot more wiring. We've thought of it for you. We include a fully assembled harness, making the job super simple. It's pretty much a plug and play. You've got your Bluetooth control box, which you want to mount pretty high to the vehicle, giving you more range. Isolation switch, which turns the rock lights on and off without the app. Power cables that connect straight to the battery. And of course, same as the white rock light, you've got waterproof plugs that just clip together. All you gotta do is just clip them together and then screw the waterproof seal shut. And now those cables fully connected and waterproof. So controlling the lights and turning them on and off is really simple. We've given you two options to turn them off. Obviously you've got the phone, which we'll go through in a second, but you do have the other option, your isolator switch. So flicking the isolation switch, turns them off, cuts power from the battery to the kit. Now at this point, you can't control them with the phone, but as soon as you turn them back on again, you do have full control with the phone. So say that you do mount these in maybe a canopy, underneath an awning, uh, in a caravan, and you can't reach that isolation switch, leave it on, and then when you jump in on your phone, you can actually turn the lights on. Like we've got a kit behind us right now on the Jeep, easy, turn them on by the phone because that isolation switch is still left on. So onto the phone, we have Happy Lighting. It's available on Android and iPhone. Super easy, once you downloaded it, make sure your control box is hooked up to your battery, your lights are on, means they're ready to sync. You just gotta click on those three dots in the top left-hand corner and you'll see two devices here. You got the one that's already connected, which is on the Jeep behind me. And of course, just hit that chain link for the device that's right next to me here. And now we have full control of the lights. You can choose any color you want, enabling presets, super easy to make a preset. Just click on the box that you wanna set the color to, wait for that tick to be up there, set it to the color, tick off the box and then now that is set as a preset so you can switch between the colors nice and easy um, but of course rgbw means white it's my favorite mode it's that bottom left hand icon with the light there and that will switch it to a pure crisp white this here is absolutely outstanding as a feature because now i don't have to mix all the colors i get that pure white it's great to work under but of course coming in tonight Last thing you want is to be bothered by the bugs and so that's when I switch it to either a red or an amber and I get to choose that color here. Not only that, I also get to choose how dim I want them. If I want it to be extremely bright, light up the campsite or if I want them really low, as a nice red light, keeping that night vision. Maybe I want them on throughout the night. That's what you can do. You have full control with the app. On top of that, we also have modes. So we have the voice control mode where if you want to listen to some music, click on the microphone, it will sync to the music around you. At the moment, it's synced to my voice, so it's flashing with each tone of my voice, but you want that full bush to a five, you want the party with the kids, click on the microphone, pump the music, and you'll have some party lights to match. Next to that, we have our different modes, such as the rainbow jumping, where you'll see switches between modes here. You can choose the speed, pretty straightforward. And of course, the uh, pulsating, but a pretty big fan favorite is, of course, the flashing lights. Uh, whether you're gonna have red, blue, whatever it may be. Everyone likes to have their own style, but there's heaps of features with the app. So many different ways to customize your vehicle, whether you wanna put them on the camping trailer, whether you wanna put them on the caravan, awning lights, wherever it goes, the Spectrum kits are there for you to customize. The final big question, which one's for you? Well, it all comes down to application. If you want individual control over each light, say an engine bay light to come on by itself and not your reverse lights, or your reverse lights come on and not your cooking lights, then the Rocklight Pro in the white is gonna be the way for you. The best part is obviously you've got the lenses so you can still control the colors, put them anywhere around the car, wire them into existing circuitry. The possibilities are pretty much endless with the white Rocklight Pro. However, if you're after that full spectrum of colors, phone controlled by the Bluetooth, and of course, a fully assembled plug and play harness, the Spectrum Rocklight Kit is definitely gonna be the one for you. But more importantly, is you've got both applications ready to go, so why not both?